a group from UNCW now on the beach right now. They have arrived earlier this morning, taking a closer look at this whale. Our Katie Garner live at Curie Beach this afternoon. Katie, what are they doing right now with that whale? Well, Bob, they are performing a necropsy on the whale right now because of the graphic nature of what's happening behind me. The North Carolina Aquarium at Fort Fisher has asked that we not show you the whale, but there is a bulldozer behind me and they are conducting research to find why this whale washed up and died. Now, right now I have Robin from the aquarium at Fort Fisher and Robin, you're holding a mite in your hand that actually is the equivalent of whale lice. Tell me, did this contribute to the death of the whale, do you think? Um, not necessarily contributed, but what um, the uh, lead from the Marine Mammal Stranding team has told us is that the animal was exceptionally emaciated and that the um, significant amount of whale lice that the animal had on it um, would indicate that the animal was sick before it died and washed into shore. All right, and I know with the necropsy they're performing, it is graphic, but what are they doing right now and why? So they are taking a look at the animal and necropsy is an animal autopsy and they are collecting tissue samples and they are looking and examining the animal to find out what happened to this animal and they will do research. They will take the information and um, use it for their research and also for finding out what happened to the animal. All right, Robin, thank you so much. Well, I know this is going to take place for a few hours. Take a look at video we shot earlier this morning, and you can see this has been going on uh, since about 6 o'clock when the whale washed onto shore. We know right now that whale weighs 15,000 pounds. It's a juvenile male, so it's not an adult whale. We know also researchers have collected skin, parasites, and photo documented any lesions. The lesions are nickel-sized and dime-sized, and they are from possible shark bites, we know at this point. We also know that there is a linear heat scar around the flipper that's actually consistent with a fishing injury, but they are not sure if that's what it's from yet. Uh, we do want to show you what one researcher had to say a little earlier this morning. One of the main causes of death for humpback whales in the mid-Atlantic are entanglement and fishing gear. So we want to look the animal over to see if there were any signs of entanglements. That animal is so emaciated, so thin. I mean, my first diagnosis, my first thing we'd be looking for is just internal, you know, disease on the animal. Another thing researchers are doing right now is working hard to decide what the whale may have eaten over the last few days to see if that was a contributing factor. We're going to stay on top of this all through the day, and I'll be back with you at 4 o'clock with another update. You can also uh, check out WECT.com and read our web story. It's being constantly updated online and on Facebook. Reporting live on Curie Beach, I'm Katie Garner for WECT News. WECT's Katie Garner was live on the scene for us at noon, and now she joins us with new information first at four. That's right, Ashley, and the new information is that the whale was actually taken away. Take a look at the sand right here. We are on Curie Beach at the Davis Street Public Access. That's where this whale was moved with a bulldozer a little earlier this morning around about 11 a.m. It initially washed onto shore around 6 a.m., about two blocks from the pier. They do know this was a male. It is a juvenile, so it's not an adult, but it still weighed 15,000 pounds. Researchers quickly began uh, looking to see what they could find inside of the whale to see how it contributed to its death. Take a look at the ocean and just imagine it's a huge ocean out there. You never know what's going to wash up, but take a look at video we shot earlier of the whale that did wash up. And I had a chance to talk to a lot of residents and people on the beach. A lot of parents actually end up pulling their kids out of school early to take a look at the whale. So take a listen to what two kids had to say. Very different perspectives here. Well, I felt disgusted and, well, that just looks horrifying. What happened to it? Um, I've only seen, like, bigger whales on, like, TV and stuff. So that was pretty cool to be able to see how big it was for, like, the first time actually seeing a whale. The North Carolina Aquarium at Fort Fisher was out here bringing actual parts of the whale up to the kids and their families to show them what they were and what they did and what might have been infected on the whale to cause its death. Speaking of that, researchers say it could take a few more hours to discover what initially did kill that whale and why it washed ashore. I'll be back with you at 5 and 6 with more perspectives and hopefully updates. But reporting live in Curry Beach, I'm Katie Garner for WECT News. That's where we find WECT's Katie Garner. Katie, what have you seen out there today? 
Well, Fran, I recently talked to those who took the whale off of the scene right here at the Davis Street access. If you take a look at this now, you can see all that remains is some blood from earlier still in the sand. I am told by the researchers and by the aquarium that was out here, this sand will be cleaned up. But I want to show you some video we shot earlier of the 15 thousand pound whale and the catch is this whale was a male but it was a juvenile so it was not even fully grown at 15,000 pounds. Now today I talked with some residents who told me they even pulled their children out of school so they could come out and see the whale and learn something. The beach was flooded at the Davis Street access with people watching as researchers dissected the whale on scene. The NC Aquarium at Fort Fisher was giving lessons about each individual body part of the whale so it really was a learning experience those children and parents will never forget. Uh, I homeschool my son, so it was a good opportunity to have a science lesson. Um, we've never seen a whale in person, so it was cool to see. Well, my parents picked me up from school because they heard that there was a whale that washed up and there was a dissection, and I'm really into the marine science. Researchers tell me they're still unsure right now of exactly what killed that whale. They did find parasites in the whale's kidneys, so the whale was not healthy. They also found what equivalents to whale lice and it was whale mites crawling on the skin of the whale. But again, that whale was dissected over a few hours here on Curie Beach, but the crowds have certainly cleared out. Hundreds were out here earlier. I'll be back with you live at six and you'll hear from researchers as well as more residents. But right now reporting on Curie Beach, I'm Katie Garner for WECT News. WECT's Katie Garner is live now where researchers performed the exam. Katie, what still has to be done? Well, Fran, what has to be done right now is the sand has to be cleaned up. I'm actually standing just feet away from where that baby well was moved. It was found about two blocks from the Curry Beach Pier, then moved by bulldozer to the Davis Street public access. There's actually still blood and a few uh, things on the beach here from earlier that you're seeing right now. So take a listen because the necropsy really showed uh, that they have a ways to go with this. It's not something you see every day. The team from UNCW, the Marine Mammal Stranding Team, they're uh, performing the necropsy, the animal autopsy. A 15,000 pound juvenile humpback whale, emaciated and covered in white mites. More than 100 people crowded the shoreline of Curie Beach to watch as researchers started their work. In my hands, I'm holding, um, they have uh, shared with us samples of what healthy kidney would look like and what unhealthy kidney would look like. Heavy machinery played a major role in their work. We now know researchers found parasites inside of the whale's kidney. We removed the jaw of the animal to get a better visual of the thoracic cavity. And on the outside of the body, researchers found nickel-sized lesions. Experts say it's an indication of a possible shark bite. But the work is far from over. Parts of the whale will now go to a laboratory at UNCW. Researchers will be able to get a more in-depth look at the whale and determine its official cause of death. I'm glad that we have people educated enough to be able to do a necropsy and find out what killed it. So we can find out how maybe we can have an effect in the future to stop this from happening. That is the hope, is that the research provides a way to prevent this in the future. Hundreds of people were out here. I'm going to stay on top of this. I've been out here all day long. And any new details I get, you'll be able to find online at WECT.com or on our Facebook page. But right now, reporting live in Curie Beach, I'm Katie Garner for WECT News.